Okay, so we're getting ready to do the SEI conversion on an OMC Cobra. What we're doing it on is a 5.7 liter OMC in a 1989 Bayliner Sierra. The parts we need to do that is the conversion and the drive. The drive we got to do that is the SEI 116 1.47. So let's see what we got in the boxes. So the first box we're going to check is the actual conversion. This is the part, the bell housing that bolts on. What we have is a little laminated instruction book. It tells us how we need to do this. Set that to the side. We're going to pull what we got in our box out. We'll set this to the side. These little wires <coughs> and ties are for the ECMs and stuff. We'll get to that later. What we have is our hose. These are the bushings that go in between because there is a space difference. These are our shift cable parts. <coughs> Shift cable's already connected. So let's get some some clippers and clip this off. Get a good look at what we got. I take it those are to oops to hold it on. I'm gonna have to get that washer we just shot across the room. So I can't lose this washer. This is the adapter. And the reason we have this piece of hose in the adapter is, is that it's a different size nozzle from the conversion housing to the back of the transom. So we have the hose to connect that. It's the hose clamps and a couple of bolts. So that's what comes in that box. We're going to keep all this stuff together. Before we do that, we're going to put the drive together. All right, so the first box we're going to go into, let's see what we got. You have to watch your knife. When you cut these open, there are metal staples in there that are going to dull it. Let's see if we can get this out. So this is our lower. All right. This box says it has additional pieces. So let's see what we got here. I'm taking this as a gasket kit. And here we have our upper. We got our bolts, our tube, we got a pump, and three things of gear lift. And these are the anoids. That's it. It's the 116. Okay, we got this frame built. 
You can see how I just screwed those two boards up there. About three and a quarter inches. This one has a tag that has the serial number on it. The serial number is located just inside on this plate. Plate, you need to mark that down for your warranty card. But I'm gonna pull this off for now. The first thing is you need this bolt and that little housing. I'm gonna cut those open. A little housing is gonna go on here. This, this bolt here, I'm gonna drop in the back hole. The next thing we're gonna do, we wanna make sure that our shaft shifter is pointing straight. Then what we have here is some grease. We're gonna grease the front. This back. Let's put a little grease on this bolt. A little grease on the shaft. And a little grease inside of this housing. The next part we want out of our bags, out of the lower units, this bag of bolts. It's got this cover in it. We're gonna open that and we wanna set that in there. So we got all our bolts laid out here. Be sure to record your serial number. It's inside of this on that plate. The next step is to take this. We want to make sure that tube opens up. We knocked the tube off and we did. So. <clears throat> you set that down. You turn that shaft a little bit. To lock it into place. And we take our bolts. And we're gonna put a little grease on them. Now these are five eighths. They're really tight 5.8, so sometimes it doesn't really want to fit. And the next bolt is a shorter bolt with a lock washer on it, and that's gonna go underneath. plug to get down to our our bolt for the 
rear end on it. It looks like it's going to be half inch. Yeah. We're going to take it around on it. So we put our anode in the back, that goes through that plug in the top, we need a half inch socket and an extension, and then our anode on the front has two bolts with some lock washers, and that's got it on the front.